poor little wife's dry heaving, ain't ate nothing in a day. And we're at the Sweetwater ER. Hopefully they give her something for nausea, maybe some fluids. So, yeah, get her fixed up. She ain't ate nothing since yesterday and been in bed all day. So, she got so weak, I figured I better come here before she couldn't walk no more. <laughs> wow, well, look how empty it is. We're next. We're the only ones in here. It's on a <laughs> Monday, like 10.30 at night. <laughs> yeah, it's 1 16 in the morning we've been here since like 10 o'clock and you hear the i just wanted you to hear the beeping noise the whole time beep eh, beep eh. yeah the whole time love to drive me crazy it's like somebody's playing tennis well, we're still up at the hospital. They're gonna do some more stuff. But yeah, the reason we come up here, my wife was having nausea and she hadn't eaten like over a day and couldn't hold anything down. So they're doing this pretty good. We're at the, up here in Sweetwater, I guess, North Augusta, at this little emergency um, place and it's, it's kind of cool, it's um, underneath the AK yeah. hospital system. I can't use you, so I but they've been pretty good to us. I told them they kept taking blood. They come in there screen. one time. I'll be talking one side. And they said, said, oh, that wasn't right. Come in there oh. another time. And oh, they come yeah. in another time. And I said, I said, you sure y'all don't have a vampire it's somewhere? Y'all feeding a vampire? He said, it's me, you know? So yeah, I, he's probably heard that before. <laughs> But it's been pretty good. It's yeah, it's really hot. They need a fan in there, <laughs> and it's the rooms kind of go around. <laughs> it's not too big. It's like a little urgent treatment care, but it's an emergency, and you feel like uh, you feel real homey up here, and family taking care of you, small staff, and it's really nice. So I recommend it if you're an Aiken and you don't have serious serious problem. Just minor emergency stuff, you know, they take and fix. I recommend it, it's not too bad. And when we got here, they said, I said, man, it's really dead here. And they said, yeah, you should have been here earlier. It's been busy all day. So uh, getting here at night made a difference. But yeah, they're real friendly, take care of you. So hopefully they'll figure out what's wrong with my wife. She's having a little bit of a hard time breathing. You know, not trying to do too much, but I want to make a video because, in the middle, you know, and talking about uh, work, I did not realize it's kind of crazy. I always thought hospitals, you know, radiology or, you know, somebody cleans the tools or, you know, the person that checks in people or security or nurses, doctors and all the other things. I never realized they had somebody that would just watch a monitor or different jobs. I never realized the hospital had so many jobs and they pay pretty good. You know, the one guy said he worked one place and at a, it's like a college hospital. Half of it was college, half of it was state and state would pay lower, but then they had better insurance. So it was worth it if you had a lot of health issues to get the better insurance plan. <coughs> so that's why I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do too, because um, there's a program called Teachers of Tomorrow right. oh. you can get. What about the lobby? You had to do like 90 credits, and I don't know if it costs anything. You had to pass a test, and then you're on probation. And it's about 42000 a year, 43, I think. And that's teaching, you know, but I don't know if I had the personality for teaching. <laughs> Who knows? But they have another thing, too um, school bus drivers. And yeah. if you don't have a CDL, you, you can become an aide. So that probably pays eight dollars an hour, I guess. And then the school bus driver is maybe thirteen. And if you do it all day, <coughs> you'll have like a four-hour wow. break. So either you could work in a classroom, or you could go home and come back, or maybe just pick up one shift. But you have state benefits, so that's something to think about because. 
I got a little weekend job I've had that I enjoy, but it's no benefits, and you have to beg for time off. So, um, which is really weird. There's two temp services to do my weekend job. The other guys just ask for time off. I have to get a form, get my supervisor to fill it out. I have to sign it. Then I have to upload it back to email and turn it in two weeks before I go on vacation. You know, and they're real strict on attendance. But with me having some kind of mobility issues, it's perfect for me. And, you know, nobody messing with you. It's just hard to stay awake. And you're there on the weekend, but um, nobody likes your job. So it's pretty cool. It's the best job I've ever had. I really love it. So I, if I could, uh, there, I seen a woman that was kind of walking funny here. And she says she's falling apart. And I said, well, what do you do for your foot? You know, because I was having feet trouble. And she says, get a job you love. And I said, I'd love to do YouTube full time. And, you know, Mr. Beast, I've heard some of the interviews with him. He does all the metrics and data. And, you know, he really knows what he's doing and he makes videos that appear when people drop off so I'm I want to still do I want to post what I want to post and hopefully people like it there's a bunch of people that's watching most of it's food and the dogs and I'll keep doing that and then I want to do these little crazy videos just to document things I think it's kind of cool and I appreciate you guys following me along the journey and I'm using keywords, and I'm learning. There's a lot to learn. But while I was sitting here in the thing, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. It's all family here. I was sitting outside recording, and they come out and got some supplies, and you know, got people coming here, and it's quiet. Really nice. I mean, nice new building. Sometime. Been to the other hospitals and they got so many people coming. Now it might have been different. And you wait in the waiting room, then you wait in the back for a long time. You know, we've been to hospitals a lot. So, not medical advice, but whatever you need to do to stay healthy, you need to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to do my part, but it's tough. But we're hanging in there, you know, and just keep my wife in your thoughts. We gotta get her healthy, cause it's March the 7th. And April the 8th, we're going on a cruise, so she's gotta be healthy, you know? <clears throat> so we're trying to keep her healthy and motivated. And I called my daughter at night, <clears throat> tell her we was coming up here, and she sent me a thing through Google Maps. Cause they got, they got this place and another place like half a mile from here. So I wanna make sure I went to the right one. But yeah, it's cool. And after the cruise, I guess I got to find work. They really you know. showing up what doing this. <laughs> they just showing the, up. the other doctor told me, he said, hey, if you don't go to work, you won't never work again. So I don't know if it's because you don't want to or if it's because you won't be able to, but I'm feeling better. I'm not as bobbly now and um, wasn't doing anything <laughs> since Sunday. <laughs> I took a little nap, sun up, and then I sat around <laughs> watching, binge watching TV until you like seven bed. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Slept about five hours, and then my wife's in bed, so I watched TV all day. And I was kind of getting a little sleepy, and then I checked on her and I said, "Oh, we got to take you to the doctor." And so that's how we got here. Binge watching TV, taking my wife to the doctor. And there's this little thing, I watched a guy on YouTube and he talked about driving, but you don't drive for like Uber and driving your own car. You don't want to be drive to the driver. dealerships and you drive yeah, their cars the and they pay you a fee. So we're going to check that out. Myself did, did this, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, subscribing. And as soon as I get some good next. food and anything else, I'll keep posting and thank you for following my journeys. You never know what I'm going to post or whatever crazy idea I'm going to come up with. And we'll talk at you later.